it's Chris and I'm doing a little watercolor technique video for you today. I am using a Winsor Newton Field Travel Set to do a little watercolor painting with this new Framescape Winter Tree Stamp Set designed by Teresa Momber for Gina K Designs. It is an absolutely beautiful set and I have stamped this Framescape Winter Trees image on Canson Montfalt on a 140 pound watercolor paper. I use VersaFine Black Onyx Ink and I am just giving it a quick little background swipe. I have wet the paper first with my brush and I'm just putting in some light blue for my sky and um, in between colors and layers as I build up the color I am using my heat gun to dry it. I have very little patience for watercolor. I love to do it, but um, I hate the drying time, so I use my heat gun to speed everything up. Um, I have added two colors, two coats of blue already, and now I am putting in just a little hint of red and orange. I am building up some color for my sunset right at that little horizon line. And I'm drying that again. I have um, start to finish when I filmed this little project. It was about 30 minutes. I have speeded up the video and I've cut out a lot of the drying time with my heat gun just for time's sake. So you'll know that it, it takes a minute or two at least between your colors when you're, you're drying with your heat gun. I keep building up the color, a little more red, a little more orange. I've added just a little hint of yellow to the sky. And um, you'll notice that when the ink, when the watercolor first goes on the paper, it looks quite dark. But as it dries, it lightens up a lot. So don't be afraid to use some color. It will lighten. And if you're not happy with the color, you can always wet it down again with your brush and lift some color off with the paper towel. Watercolor is very forgiving. Now see, I have a little bit too much water here, so I'm using a dry brush just to pick up a little bit of that excess because I don't want to blow that um, that water around too much. I tend to work in one area at a time and then I'll come back, I'll move to a different area and then I'll come back to the first area because I want to make sure that each color is very dry before I hit another color next to it. I don't want to end up with muddy images. So I want to make sure everything is real fully dry. So I'll move it, I'll put some blue in, and then I'll move to another area, and then I'll come back to the sky. Here I'm adding some blue, and I have um, just a little hint of pink. I want just a little hint of violet in the sky as well. And so I can use that with the blue before I dry it. I'll dry again. And then I will be moving into a different area again while that has a little time to set up. I'm adding some water again. I'm going to be working on the landscape portion here. Um, just by wetting the paper, then I can just drop in some color. I'm adding, mixing a little bit of the browns together to add um, like the sand, the rocks, just the landforms. And at first it looks a little, a little dark. But as soon as it dries, it's going to look much lighter. In fact, I will give it probably two or three more coats of color just to build up that color. Um, adding a little dark brown right at the edge. Working that color in. Um, the way the set is designed, it gives you a really good hint of the landforms. So you can just add the color right along, along the shading there. I'm going to give that a quick little dry. And then I'm going to go back up to the sky, add a little more orange, a little more yellow. Just keep building up that color. With VersaFine Onyx Black, you can just paint right over the top. It is very color fast. You don't have to worry about that ink bleeding when you run over it with the water. Now I'm adding a little more detail in the sky, darkening it up, a little hint of, of clouds, a little structure in the sky. And 
And then I try to bring just a little bit of that color right into the water as well as the reflection. And I'll give that a quick little dry too. Now I'm going to work on the trees and um, a little hint of grass or moss underneath the trees on the landscape portion. I'm mixing some of the two greens that are available in the kit and I also mixed in a little bit of brown just to muddy that up a little bit. I don't want a real bright color. So I'm just brushing a little bit of that color in. I'm working right off the side of the frame because I am going to trim this out and add it to a card base. Now I'm just giving a little hint of color right over the trees too. Just so you can see a little peak of green, that foresty color. I'm not very precise. Watercolor is not meant to be precise. It's all hints of color and shadow and card making is fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just mixing a little more color in. I did add just a little bit of brown just to give it a little more of that gray tone. I'm going to also add the complementary color. You'll see after a little bit that I'm adding a little bit of red. That gives me a nice kind of a muddy gray. Now I'm painting in kind of the shadow of those landforms in the water. And I'm just giving it a little hint of the reflection of the trees. Nothing perfect about it, just kind of scribbling the shapes of the trees in. I'll be adding a little bit deeper color after a bit. And the reflection in the water is never a perfect mirror image. I'm using my mixed kind of gray, blue, green, brown a little more blue just to deepen it up and I will add just a little bit of black this um, travel field travel set does not have any black watercolor um, a lot do not come with black I do like to add black sometime for a crisper image so what I have added is some um, pH Dr. PH Martin's radiant watercolor just a little dot on my palette that I can stir in and just give a little sharper black. Now I'm just dotting in those trees again just to deepen those up. The patience part about watercolor is building up color by layers. Now I'm giving a little sharper line along my landforms. little more color. A little more black, a little darker. And you can see I'm painting very randomly. I'm just giving that hint of the tree reflection.
doing the detail fez, I don't have to dry quite as much because the areas are smaller that I'm working from, then I don't have to really worry about cross-contaminating the color. Now I'm deepening in a little more brown, more shadow under the trees. I'm adding just a little bit of black to the brown just to get that real deep color. And I'll also deepen the green beneath the trees. Now I'm just gonna add just a hint more yellow and a little bit of pink. And I will dry that area just to make sure that it kind of stays where I want it to. And I'll just add a little bit of water to blend out the line between the pink and yellow. My painting is about done. As soon as it is completely dry, I will just stamp my sentiment and I will trim it out and add it to my card base. Thanks for watching.